The Heat look like a home court advantage is something they'll definitely need come playoff time. Yeah, their road record is anything but hot right now. It's, it's lukewarm, maybe tepid. Uh, Miami 8-8 eight and eight away from home, a record that includes losses to the Pistons and the Wizards. Monday, they went to Utah where the Jazz were 11-4 and four at their place. LeBron James, 50 points shy of 20,000 for his career. Udonis Haslam trying to help him get there. Look at James create position for himself. And then second quarter, he'll take three. Later in the second, James tries to throw that one down but misses. Mario Chalmers with the steal. And then finds James again, and this time, Yes, sir. And, and, and look at what he says to the fans. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, James had 20 points in the first half, but the Heat trailed by 15 at the half. We go fourth quarter, now Heat down 19. Ray Allen. James, bucket in the foul, made the free throw. Heat now down by 16. And facing an uphill climb all game. Down 10. The Heat bench keeping them in it. There's Allen for three. Jazz with a seven-point lead at that point. About a minute later, Rashard Lewis off the pine. Seven-point game. A couple minutes later, Allen had to respect his jumper, but sometimes we put it on the floor. Heat down just six. And then James getting Joel Anthony involved. Three-point game. Now, a couple minutes later, about 2.30 to go in the game, Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosch on the bench in crunch time, so Miami's got a big one on the floor right now. But when that big one is LeBron James, sometimes it well, works out. 98-93 at that point. Just over 40 seconds to go. Same score, Gordon Hayward, fancy. Utah! He knocks that down. Next possession, now take a look. Bosch in for his first action of the quarter. Wade didn't play at all in the fourth. Off the inbounds, James dribbles around and then passes it to Bosch. But Bosch may be a little rusty. Ball goes right through his hands. Jazz go on to win it. James, 32 points. But Wade didn't play at all in the four. What's up with that? Um, not a, the group did a good job um, of bringing us back. Were you expecting a call to go back in at some point once it got close like that and then it sort of leveled off? I don't know. I just always stay ready. You know, um, I, I really don't hang my hat on that. Um, I'm ready. You know, I was ready for it. But, uh, you know, that call didn't come. I don't know. That's, uh, I mean, I was just playing the game. I was out on the floor. The guys that was out there, um, we just trying to make plays. If coach decided to, um, you know, you know, put D-Way, put Chris, um, you know, put our guys back in, we was going to continue to try to, uh, you know, get stops and, and make shots offensively. Was there a point you looked to coach expecting to go back in the fourth, or you figure that's sort of the way it is? Uh, right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. No, he, coach make the calls. I'm, I'm just a player. Hey, man, you just asked me that. The Heat trailed by 19 entering the fourth quarter. James led a comeback that fell short, playing the entire fourth. But again, the other two-thirds of the big three, Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade, combined for just 40, and, uh, 40 seconds and two points in the fourth quarter. Brian Windhorse, he was in the Heat locker room. Wayne Wade was the first Heat player dressed in out of the visitor's locker room at Energy Solutions Arena after being benched during the fourth quarter of the Heat's 104-97 loss to the Utah Jazz. Spolster said the controversial call to leave Wade and Bosch on the bench and not let them finish the game out with LeBron James would be on his mind during the team's entire flight to Oakland Monday night. It's been a bit of a rough week for Wade. He was a little upset last week when he scored 23 points in the first half of a game in Indianapolis and then didn't get a shot in the third quarter. In recent games, the Heat have been battling some internal issues with players complaining about not getting plays called for hot shooters and fourth quarter substitution patterns. They're now just eight and nine on the road this season and have a tough game on the road later this week at Golden State and at the Lakers. So move over Lakers, drama in South Beach now. Uh, Michael Wallace also covers the Heat for ESPN.com. He says the Heat has always been a tight-knit squad. Team doesn't fracture, but have to wonder if Spo just lost a bit of weight. 